What's going on everybody, Quaku here, and today is Cyber Monday, or pretty much Cyber Monday week. So in this video, I am going to go over some deals that you can find on Surface devices just to expedite your holiday shopping list. Basically what I'll be doing is I'll be breaking down, there's a thousand tiers of different Surface devices, laptop 3 and a whole bunch of devices, and I'll be recommending the, the mid tier, like the normal tier, the base model tier, as well as the performance tier that I think that you guys should get to get the best bang for your buck. As always, these prices could change by the time you see this video, but for this year, this is my 2020 Surface Holiday Shopping Guide. So right off the bat, we have the infamous Surface Duo. The Surface Duo normally goes around like $1,399, about $1,400, but right now you can get it for $1,199.99, unlocked, no carrier activation needed from Microsoft Store and Best Buy. So definitely if you're thinking about getting a Surface Duo, now's the time to get it. I have heard rumors of a refreshed Surface Duo like early next year. So if you just want the fresh one right now, now's the time to get it while it's on sale because the sale could go away and then eventually the this model could just go away altogether. So yeah, the Surface Duo is on a heavy discount. You can get a good deal on it. Definitely take a look at it. Next up is the Surface Pro 7. The Surface Pro 7 and pretty much all the Surface devices that don't have a detachable keyboard or that do have a detachable keyboard don't usually come with a keyboard. But in this Black Friday slash Cyber Monday sale, Microsoft Store is in fact having a deal on it where you can actually get the Surface Pro 7 Platinum and Black model uh, with the type cover. And the type cover will essentially, it's not going to be free, but it'll come for 50 bucks and what I noticed was the signature type cover and the fingerprint ID cover are the same price and honestly if you're gonna get either or if color isn't if you don't need to worry about color I'd honestly always go with the fingerprint one just so you have an extra layer of Windows Hello security on it on top of Windows Hello the iris scanning so definitely go with that um, the model I recommend my brain of thought my brain of thought or whatever is pretty much always whatever the tier you're looking for getting always 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 go for the one right after it because you'll be the more satisfied and to an extent so if you're thinking about getting like eight gigabytes 128 storage um, on a laptop style device like the surface honestly i would always say go to the next one that has 256 and you'll be very very satisfied with it because more storage is always better and these surface devices typically don't allow you to upgrade the storage so definitely go for that one eight gigabytes 256 storage you still get your good processor, Intel processor, you'll be fine and good to go. Next up, Surface Laptop 3. Surface Laptop 3, uh, the pricing is usually pretty consistent, about mid 1500s. But right now, right now, I see here the Surface Laptop 3, I'm breaking it down to the 13 inch and the 15 inch. You can actually get the Surface Laptop 3 at the Microsoft Store. And the model that I recommend if you're a power user, like a person who needs more out of your computer, not just for browsing, but you're gonna do some programs on it, you're gonna write programs, you're gonna play games, even though it's not that powerful. This spec is what I recommend. It is $1299.99 currently, and you can get, I recommend getting the 16 gigabyte, 256 storage, and the Core i7 processor for the 13 and a half inch model. That will pretty much solidify your future proofingness in terms of that laptop especially if you use it for travel since it's nice and thin and light you'll definitely be satisfied with that however if you are looking for more cheaper oriented and you don't care about pricing and all that stuff well you care about pricing and but you just don't need too many specs out of it the model i recommend is the one that starts at 999.99 usd and basically that gives you a core i5 that gives you a 8 gigabyte of ram and you still get the 256 storage so basically all i'm saying is if you're going for the just the basic model i'd say always go with 256 storage on a laptop just because unless unless you're a very very simple person you're going to really appreciate having that extra storage in there now for the 15 inch model for the 15 inch model it's a little different now uh, because it is technically a more powerful model it is the amd ryzen 5 and ryzen 7 one but in my list here i don't recommend actually getting the ryzen 7 just because if you're getting the ryzen 7 there's a chance that you're probably wanting to play games and more things on it and unless you're video editing 
I wouldn't really recommend getting the Ryzen 7 model. Now, for my spec, I would say you go for the Ryzen 5 3580U, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and 256 storage if you're a more simple user of this device, that's for the 15 inch. That will cost you $1,200 essentially, $1,199.99 flat for that current sale. And then on top of that, if you want a little more performance for it, bump up that RAM to 16 gigabytes of RAM. You'll be future proof for a while. A lot of games don't use that yet, but they are starting to use that. Uh, but you'll still be good. You'll be able to run things pretty much 30 to 60 frames per second in terms of like 1080p gaming. You should be good to go with that one. However, at Amazon, Amazon at the time of recording, uh, Amazon is actually having a better sale than even Microsoft store on it. Uh, Amazon was having it for 1192. It says 1192.72 for the Ryzen 5. 8 gigabyte RAM, 256 storage one. They didn't really have a brand new from an Amazon trusted seller for the 16 gig model, so I'm not even gonna mention that, but the 8 gigabyte, 256 storage one, um, it was available as of me recording this right now, and I'm not sure if it's gonna be available by the time you see this, but that's the model I'd recommend getting from Amazon. I would say don't get it from the Microsoft store just because uh, it is cheaper. It's only eight bucks cheaper, but it's cheaper nevertheless. You can take that eight bucks, get something else, get yourself a coffee or whatever you want to get. You'll be satisfied. Now, at Best Buy, it is pretty much the same price there. You can get the same two things. I said eight and sixteen gigabyte RAM, two fifty six storage, and your iPhone or your AMD Ryzen five thirty eight fifty U. You'll be fine with that too at Best Buy. So either or, I'd say my rule of thumb. I know I sound traditional, but my rule of thumb is. If you don't have to, if you can just buy it in the store for the same price, just go to the store and get it immediately so you don't have to wait for it. Just go get it and you'll be happy. If you don't mind waiting, then obviously you can order it instead and you might pay some shipping and handling, who knows, but I'd say go to Best Buy, just go pick it up and honestly Best Buy price matches. So whatever prices you're seeing, Best Buy, you just take it to them, they'll see it and then they'll price match it anyway, so there's no point. They're not a sponsor, but hey, it's, it's what I normally do when I get all my products. Now, moving forward to, we got the Surface Pro X. I almost said 10. Surface Pro X, they have a bunch of sales on it all the time. And again, this is another device that does not have, does not come with its pen or its keyboard uh, by default. I still don't understand why Microsoft doesn't do that. But the Surface Pro X, I'd say at the Microsoft store, they have a model that's going for $14.99. Uh, 99 and basically that gives you the Microsoft's latest SQ2 processor or SQ2 chip. It's a Surface Pro X is an ARM based and basically that means that um, rather than you having like Intel Core i5 or you know Intel or AMD you're gonna have the system all built onto one chip and basically kind of like Apple's M1 chipset only in, in my humble opinion Apple's M1 is probably a little better. Uh, but the SQ2 chip is the latest. It's got LTE built in and Wi-Fi. So if you want LTE on your laptop, take it anywhere you want. No Wi-Fi needed. You can just do that. Just get a SIM card for it. Um, I'd say get 256 storage and 16 gigabytes of RAM for the Surface Pro X. Just because although the Surface Pro X only uses store apps and like ARM apps, it doesn't just use store apps, but you, you can only get apps that are function for ARM based devices and you'll look that up on Google and you'll find out exactly what uh, that means. But for this purpose, Surface Pro X doesn't run everything say this computer here runs, but I think you should be fine with um, what the Surface Pro X can do in terms of performance. It has amazing battery life. I think you'd be satisfied. It's got a nicer screen, honestly, in my opinion, than even the Surface Pro 7 line. It just looks better. It looks like what the Surface Pro 7 should look like, but it doesn't. Um, yeah, so definitely go with that one if you are looking for more performance. Now, for $200 cheaper at $1299.99, you can get the SQ1 chip, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 storage, and you'll always satisfy that storage need. Um, now, apparently, the Surface Pro X, the latest one, the SQ2, you can actually swap out the storage, but I don't know how much of a hassle that is. Maybe in a future video, I'll tackle that um, when I actually get my hands on one, but definitely, definitely go with either 16, 8 gigabyte, and then always go with 256 because 128 to me for Windows is a little too little. I don't, I don't know why you would even go with that unless you really don't do anything on your computer. Now adding on to this Surface Pro X with its type cover, as you don't know, if you do or don't know, the Surface Pro X, it has a different kind of surface pen. Now it's a more thin surface pen. It's not the like traditional, almost pen style pen. It has a thin one. And but that pen is included with the keyboard. So in this listing here, I see the Surface Pro X Type Cover Signature with Slim Pen. 
The black color is $77 saved, so you save $77 on it from its normal price. Or if you want to save for other colors, it's only you only save $27. So I'm guessing what they're doing is that the color that doesn't sell as much, they are pricing it down a lot more. And then the colors that do sell more because they're more vivid and vibrant, they're charging more for it. So it's $27 cheaper with every other color and you get $77 cheaper with just the black cover. And that one, again, they all come with the pen, so you'll be set and ready to go. And for the Surface Pro 7, uh, I'll get to the Surface Pen in a second. Now, one thing, the Surface Slim Pen, if you get the Duo and you need a Slim Pen and you already have a Surface Pro X, you can actually just use that pen on the Surface Pro X, which is pretty dope. Now, going on to the nicest laptop I think Microsoft has made to date, the Surface Book 3. Right now, I'm going to talk about the 13 and a half inch one for these prices. I won't get to the 15 one yet. Now, the 13 and a half one, basically what the Surface Book 3 is, it is essentially a traditional style laptop, only you can detach the screen from its base. And basically that base has a performance base in it. So basically you can actually have a GPU in it. So basically it has about, I think a 1650 GTX GPU from Nvidia built into it. It's obviously like, it's obviously the Max-Q design and it's it can play your games. It can play your simple games that aren't crazy. You can play games, more AAA games at lower resolutions. It's not the greatest, but it's better than every other device I've pretty much looked at other than the Ryzen processor one if you get the Ryzen 7. Now for the Surface Book 3, I recommend you pick up the Core i5, 8GB of RAM and 256 storage minimum. If you just want a Surface Book 3, you just like that form factor, you like getting it from Microsoft, I'd say get that one. That'll cost you $1299.99, about the same as a MacBook Pro. Now, if you want true performance out of your Surface Book 3, you are an AutoCAD person, Photoshop person, you're a designer, you're whatever, I'd highly, highly recommend going all out more. And since this is the most expensive device Microsoft sells other than the Surface Studio, I recommend picking up for the 13 and a half inch one the 2399 model and basically that cost that pretty much gives you 32 gigs of ram that gives you one terabyte of solid state storage and that gives you a core i7 processor from intel that will pretty much cover everything that you pretty much need to do anytime soon if you don't end up playing a ton of games that'll cover everything if you have a series s an xbox series s and a series x and so you don't play games on your computer you just do your laptop stuff on your laptop and then you go onto your TV and play games, this is probably gonna be exactly what you need for your video editing for whatever you need. You're gonna be set, you have the storage. You won't really need to worry about external storage unless you're editing like 4K video. So you'll be solid with that for a couple years. Now bumping up to the 16 inch model from the Microsoft Store, I recommend you going with the i7 16 gigabyte and 256 storage option. That costs you about $2,000, about $1999.99. And basically that again will cover all of the base stuff that you would need. And what I assume with getting the 15 inch Surface Book 3 is that you are a true power user. You want the best of the best, but you don't want like to spend four grand on a Surface Book 3. You just want to have a Surface Book 3 that is solid. And if you're getting that screen size, you probably want something that's really good. And that one is really good. Or I'd say get the $2699.99 one, which is $2700. Um, and I believe it's on sale now even cheaper about twenty three hundred dollars, which is sold out But 32 gigabytes of RAM i7 one terabyte storage basically the same as the other one the 13 and a half inch one But bigger screen I recommend doing that because again, you'll be future-proof for a while Best Buy also has the same sales for that um, You'll be very satisfied with Either of them like they are going to crush any load that you really need you'll be fine with it now Going into accessories, but before I do that, I'm gonna go into the Surface Pen that I was talking about before. For the Surface Pen, I'm sure you know, it works with the Surface Pro 7, and basically, the Surface Pro 7 doesn't come with it, but there are some sales with it. So you have the poppy red, and then you have the ice blue color of the Surface Pen. They do have a black one, um, and the poppy red one is 65 bucks right now, down from quite a bit, I think over 100, and then the Surface, the ice blue one, which is like a light teal blue, sky blue color is going for $68.99, which is again, a pretty solid price compared to when you think about how the Apple pens will cost over a hundred and even the regular surface pens all cost over a hundred before these sales. Um, now going back into accessories more, the one major accessory, if you are a traveler or a person just getting a surface device, especially a surface pro, I recommend getting the surface dock too. 
Now, Service Dock 2, what it gives you is a dual 4K 60 hertz. Basically, you can get with VSync en enabled on any game. You can get if it, the game could even run at 60 hertz, uh, 60 frames per second in 4K. You could do that output to two monitors. Um, you can get four USB Type C ports, which give you 10 gigabit transfer speeds. You get USB 3. You get two USB 3.2 Type A ports as well, which also give you pretty fast speeds as well. Obviously, they run off of the Surface Connect port that all surfaces charge with. You get Ethernet, 10, you get gigabit Ethernet, not 10 gigabit, but Ethernet. You get Kensington lock, so if you just want to lock up your device so no one can take it, you can lock it up with the Kensington lock. And it is 199 watt uh, charging built into the dock, so that way you can charge your Surface and all your peripherals that are connected to that dock with that one connector, that one dock thing. And it's it's solid you just plug it in it's basically an extension and it just gives you a whole bunch of extra ports which surfaces as you know they're so small and thin that they don't have too many ports so that's highly recommended that one is going for one one seventy nine ninety nine which is about eighty dollars off the original price i think the original price is two forty nine ninety nine so if you're thinking about getting that even if you're not getting a surface but you plan on getting one soon i highly recommend getting the service dock to like as soon as you see this video or as soon as you see the deal just pick it up you won't be disappointed um, final things too, the Surface Slim Pen, you can get it separately, you don't need to get it with the type cover for the Surface Pro X, it's $107.99, if you plan on getting a Duo anytime soon, you might as well pick this up now just because it is on sale, it's not that much on sale, but it's on sale, I think the normal price is about $120, so I definitely say just go ahead and get this, hold on to it, and then when you get your Duo, you can magnetically attach it in the back and do your stylus stuff, it is kind of chunky for a phone uh, stylus, but it's it's not really a phone stylus, it's mainly for the Surface Pro X. Now, the final thing, I highly recommend if you're gonna have a travel thing, if you don't like using trackpads like I don't, um, it's not the greatest mouse, but it's a cool mouse that's slim and clean and it matches the colors of most of all the type covers out there, and that is the Surface Arc mouse. Basically, it's a mouse that kind of like, it starts off curved and then you can push it down and it folds completely flat, almost like this phone, and it's clean it, you can get it at best buy you can get it a bunch of places but at the microsoft store here are all the colors they have and here are the prices so for poppy red they have 65.99 for lilac color 60 dollars ice blue 66.99 sage 61.95 soft pink is 58.08 which is a strange price and black is 69.99 now you might be wondering why the prices are so different when they're the same thing it's probably because the prices that are lower are the things that don't sell as much. So they're trying to get rid of those stocks of things that don't sell as much. So they're trying to entice people to buy them. But yeah, that is my Surface Holiday Buying Guide. Hope you guys enjoyed it. There's a lot of sales that are going to be coming in and out. And maybe I'll cover them in future videos as the holidays start going in. It's getting ready to be December by the time this upload comes up. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you find any other deals, let me know. I'll be sure to write them down and maybe make another video comp compiling all of those deals together for you guys to take a look at in one thing. All the links for everything will be in the description box below. Maybe I'll just make a spreadsheet for it. You guys can click on each one and easily buy them so that way you don't have to search the entire web looking for them. My name is Kwaku and uh, this was a long video but take care everybody. I just want your time. I just want your time.